Hello, in this video we will make some color correction adjustments to our texture that we made in the previous one to enhance the colors. So let's get started. Here I am at the end of our uh, texturing graph. I will right click on a blank space and go to color, color effects. The color effects node is the node that allows you to make color correction and post processing adjustment to your texture. It must be connected to a color node. In this case, we want to make a color correction to the final texture. So I will connect it to the vegetation node, that is the last node of our chain. Now in the color effects I'm at 2K resolution here and we have many parameters. We have brightness and contrast as well as some parameters for changing the colors like the hue and saturation. We also have parameters for noise and other stuff. What you usually use is the brightness and contrast so we can enable it as well as the HSL, Hue Saturation light Lightness. And sometimes uh, you also maybe want to apply some noise. However, in this case, uh, it's not really necessary. So I will disable it. Noise can be useful for adding uh, maybe some uh, fake rocks on your terrain or uh, if you have a lot of vegetation and you want to make some chaos, stuff like that. You also have a gamma option, but I usually don't touch it because I simply work with the HSL. Let's start playing around with the HSL before the brightness and contrast. We have the lightness. If you right click and you have the arrows to change the value. So let's increase it by 0.1 and see what it does. As you can see, it brightens up our terrain. The saturation on the other end make the colors more uh, saturated and uh, reddish or more uh, yellow, depends what you have. The hue, it is simply a color shift. The more you increase it, the more will uh, change to a reddish color, then purple, then blue, and so on. So I play around with these parameters until I get something that I like. Let's try increasing the lightness. Okay. And then the saturation. We have a more warm color overall. The hue, let's try a 3% value, it's a little bit too reddish. The contrast will, the contrast will simply add more contrast to your color so they will be stronger or if you lower it, it will be more washed out. The brightness is just the general luminosity of uh, the texture. So let's try increasing the contrast a little bit. Okay, I believe that something like this will work. As you can see, this is the uh, is before the color correction and this is after. The colors are way more vibrant and beautiful to look at them and it really enhanced our terrain. I recommend making color correction at the end of your work every time because it will take your terrain one step further and it will uh, make it lo look better overall. So this is it for this video. 
in uh, the next one we will start exporting our terrain and uh, so if you enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe to stay up to date with the latest videos if you have any questions comment below and i'll see you in the next one eyes in the sky gazing far into the night i raise my hand to the fire but it's no use cause you can't stop it from shining through it's true baby let the light